ericmother.com. Let's take a look at the cryptocurrencies. And we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin's charts. Let's begin here. We are seeing, uh, let's call it a sizable drop for the day. As far as the cryptocurrencies are concerned. And let me share with you what could be the technical reason for this. And in fact, we can see that the market has been lower. Bitcoin has been trading as low as 9,400 off the lows. Now, let's take a look at the charts here and I'll do my best to explain why from a technical standpoint we are seeing this drop. Number one, on the daily for Bitcoin, for the day, we are moving below RSI 50. And as you know, whenever we move below 50, we tend to have a big reaction to the downside. Also, on the four hourly chart, we can see that the RSI just dropped below the other critical level of 30.9. So those two factors, the hourly and the daily combined, explain why we are having this big drop as we crack below 50 and also as we crack below 30.9 on the hourly. Now, if we take a look at the weekly, the potential magnitude for this drop is going to be dependent on whether or not we drop below 50 on the weekly. So if the weekly RSI can hold above 50, then this is going to stem the drop. If we drop below RSI 50, expect a big down week more than the current loss. So the magnitude of the drop is going to be dependent on, on whether or not we can hold 50. If we hold above 50, that's good. That's stabilizing the current move. But if we drop below 50, expect a big down week. Now, if we take a look at the monthly also, because all these things play a role, we can see for the month, the big drop is going to be dependent whether or not we crack below 69.1 on the monthly. If we can hold above 69.1, then this is going to be around where it stops going down. But if we crack back below 69.1, then you can expect an expanded monthly move lower. Now, in conclusion, I had already covered this for paid subscribers. I had told them a couple of days ago to be very vigilant of Ethereum because if Ethereum was to drop below 69.1 on the monthly, which is exactly what is going on now, the warning here that I told paid subscribers was that if Ethereum moves below 30.9 on the monthly, expect there to be a big down month and we are already starting to see signs of this drop. So as long as Ethereum is below 69.1, the cryptos are still going to be under downside pressure, in fact, for the rest of the month. If they can hold back above 50, excuse me, if the RSI can hold back above 69.1, then this recent slide that we are seeing today is going to have some stability. But failure to hold 69.1 is the risk. And right now we are seeing this drop below 69.1. So we have to assume that the pressure and the odds continue favoring a massive move to the downside. Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.